the vegetable man is a cryptid from down here in West Virginia. Wild, wild story, wild, wild, horrifying story, an encounter with this alien creature that I somehow turned into like this book, this children's book. <laughs> and if you, if you go, if you, get, if you go to Amazon, you'll see some reviews that go, this really isn't a children's book. I don't can, know what you guys, can you tell us that story? I've never yeah, I'll heard tell that you a quick, story. I'll, yeah, I'll tell you. Okay. So this is this man named Jennings, this man named Jennings Fred, Frederick in Fairmont, West Virginia. It's a little, a little tiny town. It's like Fairmont Reevesville, West Virginia. It's about a half hour from Morgantown. Okay. Um, so he was out uh, bow hunting uh, woodchucks um, one morning, and uh, you know he hears this this uh, he hears this noise from the bush, and it, it turns it 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 it's like what did he say? It was like a record player at like a high speed. It sounded like a, ch a chittering or like mm -hmm. a, a loud pit a loud. It sounded like something. On not from this earth, something like so, whirring almost, like yeah, Whoa. no, it was it was, no, it was definitely like it was like talking, but it was high pitch, it was like jabbering, I guess, yeah, jabbering. Oh, a weird jabbering sound, and this this creature jumps out at him. Oh god, and it's a giant. It's called the vegetable man. It's a giant green. Uh, stalk, its arms and legs are made of like stalks almost. What and like and it's got uh suction cups on each finger what and uh yeah yeah suction cups on each finger and there's like needles coming out of each finger <laughs> yeah what so, what happens is this creature tell vegetable this creature, man <laughs> yes vegetable man what? this creature telepath this creature telepathically reaches out to him and says i need your help um you know i am i know of all you people i know of humans i'm not gonna hurt you i come in peace and then right after that the, the creature lunges at him and and uh, and takes its such suction cup needle hands and puts them in his arm, and starts sucking blood from his arm. No, nope. yeah, no, nope. yeah. yeah. I draw the line. Yeah. If that's your handshake, we're we're not friends. Don't bro right. me if you don't know me. That's not broing me. <laughs> so Jeez. the creature, so, so he gets to looking in the creature's eyes while all this is happening. His, you know, he's feeling the pain in his arm, and this creature's eyes start uh, turning into different sh shapes and swirls and oh, colors. Boy. Shut and they, up! It, it hypnotizes him. He does. He, it's like a, it's like a pain reliever for the guy, so he doesn't feel what's going on. You know what I mean? Um, and then essentially, what happens? He creature jumps off, and he, he that was it. That was the encounter. And then later on, a few seconds later after the encounter, the man hears the whirring noise of a UFO, suppose or like a loud noise that he thought was a UFO flying. So, yeah. And that was just one off encounter. Nobody else encounter. in yep. the in the area yep. had any experiences. No, nope. no more experiences. Whoa. But that's but, yeah. the detail. That's like some hypno toad shit. I, I want to say this. Yeah, that's a really wild story. But I'm just saying, for someone to make up just some normal dude to make up the suction cup and the needles and the mm -hmm. sucking of the blood and the hypnotizing the eyes. Hypno toad. You got to be a yeah. pretty yeah. great science fiction writer or somebody that's, right. that's dreaming up this stuff. But th those details, yeah. it's weird. Disturbing. Yeah. I just, just turned that into a children's I just want to say ass. this, though. That part where you're saying it's got the oh. suction cups and it goes on his arms and it had the anesthetic. Like, you know, leeches, when they bite you, they have an anesthetic right. and an anticoagulant. So you, they right. bite you, you don't feel it, and they make right. you bleed so that they get the blood quicker. Right, it's you know, kind of like yeah, a leech they be, they they use them for therapeutics in hospitals, but they also do you know study on the enzymes that they secrete and right. So the so the book I we somehow worked out into a children's book and it it, it is horrifying. It's a and that's what it's supposed to be. I wanted a scary story. I loved reading scary stories as a kid.